All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakwadash. Add double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to all you Aki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And uh, this is going to be a quick lesson, you know. Um, but it's from the RT and it reads Nothing will change after U.S. elections. It says Russia's relationships or relations with Washington will not be impacted no matter who is elected president. And now we understand, hey, the, the, the men of this earth, you know, the, the kings of this earth, hey, they can have, you know, they what, the, what they think they want to achieve in their own mind. But ultimately, the scriptures tell us the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. And as the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Hey, so everybody is controlled and, and bounded unto the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. So Putin can say whatever uh, concerning, oh, uh, nothing will change. Um, talking of uh, relations with Washington, but guess what? The scriptures speak about that evil thought, man. And we know that the, the closer and closer we get to, to prophecies uh, coming to pass, specifically uh, the MOTB being mandated, which is the CHI to the P, and uh, um, thermonuclear destruction, that, that means what? Uh, that the, the missiles have to be fired off. Yahabba Shema Shai isn't allowing that armory to be built uh, just, to, just to be put in a museum. No. He's going to allow these nations to fire upon this. Well, slack it. He's going to make these nations fire upon this beast, man. Upon this horse, slack it. Right? So it says the upcoming presidential contest in the U.S. will not fundam fundamentally alter Russian-American relations. Putin spoke with the heads of international news agencies on Wednesday. We believe no serious changes will happen after the elections. Well, ultimately, he has no, no real power, though he is the head uh, of Russia. A Yahabashi Shai is, is the father of spirits, right? And, and what he tells men to do, matter of fact, uh, I'm going to grab this precept. I believe it's in the book of Job. Sleep. Seal. Oops. Upon her bed. Yeah, right here. This is Joel 33 and 16. It says, uh, For Yahweh speaketh once, yea, twice, yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, and slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. Meaning what? A Yahweh al Shai, a puts the plans of what he wants in the mind of the kings, man. And really, really all people, because we understand there's no free will. That's why the scriptures say, uh, man's goings are of the Lord. How then can a man understand his own way? Right? So so how much more with, with world leaders and Yahabba Shemir al Shai setting these chess pieces uh, um, for, for chaos, you know, through through them, right? Now, continuing, it says, Putin reminded reporters that he had already comment, uh, commented on this issue describing the incubant. U.S. President Joe Biden as an old school politician and more predictable, predictable than his predecessor and challenger Donald Trump. Everyone took my statement about Biden as some kind of joke as it, as it, at his expense. But it says um, Putin pointed out that Russia never had any special relations with Trump, whom the Democrats in 2016 accused of being a con, uh, being of of being a kind of Russian agent. The Republican president had in fact introduced massive sanctions against Russia. And ex uh, exited the INF, the Israeli nuclear. Um, what's the INF? Like it. Let me let me figure it out real quick. Don't want to just say it. Intermediate range nuclear uh, forces treaty. Yep. There it is. The INF. It says by prosecuting Trump in court. However, the Americans are burning themselves up from the inside. Their state, their political system. They're burning it down to the ground. Now, it's funny, you know, Putin is uh, taking, you know, that um, or looking at it from that perspective. And that's ultimately because he just doesn't understand prophecy, you know. Now, do I believe Putin is watching? Yeah, absolutely. I believe all the world leaders are watching. Hey, because much like in the ancient days, the kings got the word of, of prophecy from the prophets. They had dreams. They had visions that their wise men couldn't break down. So it took. Who? The, the men of Israel to break down these dreams, to give these interpretations of visions, right? It says, nobody in the U.S. cares about Ukraine, Ukraine's interests, Putin said. Americans are not fighting for Ukraine or the Ukrainian people. 
they are fighting for their own grandeur and global leadership, right? But ultimately, what he didn't touch on is it doesn't matter who wins, right? See, these American people, they're, they're, they're flocking or they're going to flock to the, the ballots, the uh, voting polls to, to, you know, give their um, vote on who they believe should run America next. And when ultimately the elites through Yahabashi Masha putting it on their minds, uh, pick who uh, is going to be uh, up next for the presidency. And the and, uh, president don't control nothing, man. You know, he's just another puppet for the elites. But nevertheless, regardless of who they choose, we understand this. This is Revelation 13. And I'm going to start here at... Um, Eleven, and I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Right, those two horns represent powers. Hey, the ancient plebeians and patricians, which are now your modern day Democrats and Republicans, it says, and he had two horns like a lamb. Right, so he gave the illusion as if he were for the people, even though he was signing executive orders uh, to ultimately uh, entrap the people. That's why the scriptures say, and he spake as a dragon, going back into Draco, a hey, which which goes into draconian law, a hey, which basically signifies anybody that's uh adverse or opposing the will of the the government and what they deem as righteous a uh, is uh can be punished by torture and or death right so it doesn't matter who you vote in or who you believe can save your country because ultimately yahweh bashim al uh had it written a that this place can't be saved that there is no balm for her pain man right so so it doesn't matter who you pick or who you believe in to run this system a, it's all going to crumble, man. It's all going to crumble. A, and Putin is going to be one of the men that, that pressed that button uh, as according to Ezekiel the 38th chapter, man. Right? So, things will change after this U.S. election. And a lot of things are going to change after this election. We understand a lot of moves, the elites make a lot of moves a, once a change in guard is done uh, uh, to the people, man. And we understand foreign troops are on the land. We understand that famine is being uh, engineered at a greater speed. They, the minds of the people are, are desperate. The dollar is crashing, you know. So a lot is about to change. And that's even if we get to the, the election. Hey, because in the, the state of um, national emergency, you know, when they shut everything down, elections can be suspended. So so we'll see how hey, Yahweh Bashim al Shah has this unfold. Hey, but a lot will change. Your life will never be the same soon, man. You know, right now you're still comfortable. You can still go out to eat. Hey, we still got running water. Hey, but but all it takes is one event for for Yahweh Shimei to enact all hell, man. You know, so hey, continuously stay prayed up. You know, continuously work for Yahweh Shimei and, and work towards the spirit. Hey, um, you know, and fight, man. Fight through the spirit. This is not a physical fight. This is a spiritual fight, and we gotta continue. A hey, Lord willing that we may endure until the end, a hey, so that we may be saved. So I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwadash. A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone. And a sincere shalom to Yahweh bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. Shalom.